until now you have not proven anything except to sequester and sell. Hindi mo nga sigurado kung talaga ang kay Marcos pa yan. But I can tell you uh, this, that uh, we never spent uh, government funds for our personal purpose. If we did, we replaced them immediately. I may have committed many sins in my life, but stealing money from the people and from the government is not one of them. Binasura ng Sandigan Bayan 2nd Division na mahigit isang bilyong pisong ill-gotten wealth case. Binasura ng Sandigan Bayan ang kaso ng gobyerno para mabawi ang 102 billion pesos na ill-gotten wealth o yamang inakaw umano ng mga Marcos. The Sandigan Bayan dismissed another Marcos forfeiture case in alleged ill- Binasura ng Sandigan Bayan ang 102 billion peso forfeiture case laban sa mga Marcos at kanilang mga crony. Sa desisyon ng Sandigan Bayan 2nd Division, Bigo ang PCGG o ang Presidential Commission on Good Government na magbigay ng ebidensya para patunayan ang mga paratang laban sa mag-asawang Marcos. Sa desisyon ng korte na kalulungkot na inabot na ng 30 years ang kaso pero hindi pa rin nakapagbigay ng sapat na ebidensya ang prosecution. Until now you have not proven anything except to sequester and sell. Hindi mo nga sigurado kung talaga ang kay Marcos pa yan. The accused Imelda Rualdez Marcos and Hector T. Rivera are equally acquitted on the ground of reasonable doubt. After a 17-year trial, a judge in the Philippines has ruled that the widow of Ferdinand Marcos is not guilty of illegally opening accounts in Switzerland during her husband's rule. Dinismiss ng Sandigan Bayan 2nd Division ng isa pang kaso ng mga Marcos ang 1.052 billion peso civil case. Sa resolusyon noong September 25, 2019, sinabi ng korte na bigo ang mga abogado ng gobyerno na patunayan sa pamamagitan ng mabigat na ebidensya na nagkamal ng nakaw na yaman ang mga akusado. Sabi ni Sen. Aimee Marcos, ang pagkakadismiss ng kaso ay patunay na inosente ang kanilang pamilya. Itong Agosto lang, na-dismiss din ng 2nd Division ng Sandigan Bayan ang 102 billion pesos na for feature case laban din sa mga pang. Ibirasura ng Sandigan Bayan ang may tatlong dekada ng kaso kagnay sa ill-gotten wealth ng pamilya Marcos dahil sa kakulangan daw ng ebidensya. Sabi rin ng korte, walang ebidensya na ill-gotten o illegal na nakuha ang kinukustyong mga ari-arian at yaman ni na Marcos. <tinyo> The reason I have uh, survived this 21 years of relentless persecution, not by individuals, but governments and even superpowers when I was alone, widowed and orphaned uh, from my country, the only reason is because I was at peace with the truth. And if you are with the side of the truth, you are the side of God who can be against you. I am confident. I remember when I was in, in Hawaii and we found ourselves in Hawaii. I confronted Ferdinand. I said, Ferdinand, you're a man of foresight, of wisdom. I said, what happened to us? Did you not foresee this? Why are we here in Hawaii? Deprived of our country, of our resources and everything? He said, Imelda. He said, Never argue with destiny. Just be on top of it. But I can tell you uh, this, that uh, we never spent uh, government funds for our personal purpose. If we did, we replaced them immediately. I may have committed many sins in my life, but stealing money from the people and 